All right, what's going on, guys? It is your boy, TK Dewan Jr. here, back again here on PlayStation Source. And I know I said in the PS Plus Free Games video last week that we did have some announcements. We do still have those things to announce. I'm just ironing out some details. I'm still making some assets, boys. So please be a little bit patient with me. Uh, I should have an announcement out this week, and you will all know what's going down here on PlayStation Source in 2020. But before that, we did get a Sony uh, reveal at the CES 2020 yesterday, and there was some talk about PlayStation, so we're going to go over all that stuff uh, today in this video. So without further ado, here is what's going on with the Sony CES 2020 press conference and what they all revealed yesterday. And so, unfortunately, I did get scheduled to work last night, so I was not able to react to this live. And I'm kind of glad that I didn't, just because we probably would have been a little bit let down. There were, you know, and have been a lot of different leaks of the controller and stuff like that, and different things involving PS5 as well. That's been kind of swirling throughout, which we have plenty of videos of Wake and talk about as well. So, you know, keep keep it on the channel here. I got a lot of stuff, I got a lot of stuff to make here involving that and those topics and those leaks, but uh, we didn't really see any of that come to fruition here at this press conference. It was more just a general, just kind of update on how PlayStation's going and uh, you know, different things like that. But we did get one new thing that was pretty cool, right? And that is we got the official PlayStation 5 logo. As you can see here, it's probably what you would imagine. It definitely does fall suit with the PS3 logo, the PS4 logo. And of course we have a natural type of uh, similar looking design and aesthetic to the PS5 logo. And so I think it looks clean. I think it looks great. I love the way they have this curvature and everything. I do wish that they would bring back the colored logo. You know what I'm saying? I really do like the way the color position logo looks uh, in, in a lot of different things. And I think it looked actually really sleek on the PS2. And even the early PS3s had the colored logo. I think it looks great. So I really wish that they would bring that back. And who knows, maybe the final PS5, uh, you know, official actual, you know, consumer model of the actual hardware will have a colored logo, hopefully, maybe on the controller for lucky. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. I would like to see the colored logo come back, at least to the hardware point. But let me know what you guys think about the PS5 logo. Do you like it? Do you hate it? I know it's not the biggest thing in the world, and that's really all we got in terms of new stuff uh, that was announced, you know, for PS5 yesterday. That was kind of it. We were kind of presuming that we might get a controller reveal yesterday, but we did not get that. We just got the logo. Hey, so I'll take it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. But we also did get Jim Ryan on stage yesterday at the CES 2020 Sony press conference. So that was pretty cool to see him, you know, in the flesh talking about PlayStation and talking about Sony and the future involving PS5 as well. So he did say that, uh, you know, in terms of PS5, they will be teasing, you know, much more information in the, you know, months ahead. So of course they will be revealing, you know, you know, obviously info uh, up until release of the PS5 this fall 2020. So obviously here, well, more, more, more specifically holiday 2020, you know what I'm saying? Not just fall, but holiday 2020. Uh, so of course we will get more information about the first party lineup of games, maybe the features, obviously, you know, we're, we're going to get the whole shebang. I'm not worried about that. He just said that, Hey, obviously he's not going to be here at the top of the month, but eventually in the months ahead, we will get more information of all on PS5, which is great to hear. But he also said uh, a really interesting part in terms of like PS5 games. So he said here that, quote, we look forward to revealing more details, including the content that will showcase the platform and the future of gaming. And so that, of course, is pertaining to the games. And now I could be cherry picking and could be reading into this, but he was listing off games that are still coming for the PS4 in 2020 that are still slated as a PS4 2020 release. And that uh, he said, of course, Last of Us Part 2. He said Dreams, I believe. And he said some other game. I forgot which game it was, but he didn't bring up Ghost of Tsushima. Oh, he brought up Iron Man VR as well. So he said Dreams, Iron Man VR, and Last of Us Part 2. But for some reason, he didn't mention Ghost of Tsushima, which I thought was kind of interesting because the Ghost of Go, you know, the Ghost of Tsushima um keywork and artwork uh were on the screens behind him. And so I thought that was pretty weird how he didn't name out Ghost of Tsushima, you know what I'm saying? And the fact that you know, we still have a summer 2020 reveal. I mean, release for Ghost of Tsushima, but we still don't have a date for it. We've seen it, you know, very minimally in terms of like raw gameplay and stuff like that. So I thought that was kind of odd. I don't know. Maybe that's maybe that's my intuition, you know, just taking a little bit too far. But I don't know. I feel like there could be a future that we have where Ghost of Tsushima ends up not being a PS4 title, even though they've reiterated 
hey, it is a PS4 game, you know, maybe it gets pushed to PS5 launch. I don't know, guys. Let me know if you guys seen the comments below. I just, I just thought that was kind of weird. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. But that was pretty much all he said about that. And there was some other stuff that we're going to go over here as well. And he also took a second uh, to show off one of these really cool graphics that really reminded me of the PS4. Um, oh, my gosh. What was it? It was that February event where they did a full like feature reveal in terms of uh, like what the PS4 will be capable of, not necessarily the hardware. And I think they showed off the controller. I think they showed off DualShock 4 at that February event. But uh, nonetheless, they show off some features about PS4 during that February event. We we talk about that. That's how I think they're going to reveal the PS5, I think, hardware or something like that in February. But nonetheless, they did that again here um, in a very similar type of artwork, which, which you'll see on screen here somewhere uh, around me. I don't know where. Kevin, just... just just put it somewhere over here, you know what I'm saying? But uh, uh, PlayStation 5 hardware features, we're going to go over them just briefly, you know what I'm saying? We, of course, have 3D audio sound, allowing for much more in-depth audio, I mean, in-game audio depth, haptics, and adaptive triggers designed to give players more immersive controller feedback, ultra-speed SSD, ultra-high-speed SSD, a custom solid-state drive that allows for much faster load times across the board, hardware-based ray tracing, built-in graphics tech that enhances in-game visuals, as well as a Ultra HD Blu-ray, which the PS5 is able to play Ultra HD Blu-rays, which I don't know how the PS4 didn't have, but the Xbox One did. That's beyond me, but nonetheless, uh, he just went over those key features of the PS5, you know, in a short little type of segment there, which I thought was, you know, nice to hear. Again, the, the people that are hardcore in the know, we have already known this was going to be in the PS5, but it's really cool to just reiterate and have it again at the forefront. So I thought that was pretty nice to include there. And then they also had another graphic, which I'm going to pull up here on Discord, which I don't know why Push Square doesn't have. But I have it here on the Discord. Again, link in the description. Join the Discord, boys. We got a lot of good stuff in there. Really cool stuff. But they went on a little segment here during the CES 2020 uh, press conference where they went over some numbers for the PS4 era currently right and so we have some really cool numbers here to show and to show and share and stuff like that so in terms of ps4 systems sold there has been 106 million ps4s out there in the wild of course we crossed 100 million mark very very cool moment but now we're at 106 after the holiday bump really cool to see that there we have 1.15 billion playstation 4 games sold i would love to see if those numbers are only physical or are they digital as well is it is it like all the games? Is it just physical? I would love to know those numbers, but they're probably, uh, you know, counting both physical and digital games. But really cool to see that 1.15 billion. If you do the math, I think, uh, you know, I'm not going to do the math here, but that that's 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 a pretty good install base. I think it's, man, you know what? I'm not going to attempt that. Down below, <laughs> do someone do the math. Let me know the install base, you know, the, the, the average install base per player. But regardless, 5 million PlayStation VR units sold, which last time I checked, it was at like three. So really, really, I mean, I don't know if they haven't said numbers in a while, but uh, I remember being three million, you know, like a few months ago. Now it's at five. That's great to hear. And I think that was a number that they wanted to um, sell. Like, like that was their target number of sales for four PSVR. So it looks like they have passed that, which is great to see. 103 million active users on PS4, which is great to see. So that means that, you know, uh, in the span of a month, 103 million people interact with their PS4 in some shape, form, or fashion. Really cool to see that there. And PS Plus has 38.8 million PS Plus subscribers, which I think a lot of people in the Discord were kind of surprised at how low that number is. But, I mean, you got to take into account, you know, the, the, the number of people that own a PS4 and that play games, right? that aren't in uh you know the the means or the area or the wanting you know just to be a blunt you know to to play online games or have an online service with their game console they just treat it like a game console you know and they go to the store they buy physical games or they get physical games in some form or fashion and maybe they don't have an internet connection that number is still a lot of people you know what i'm saying even though we live in this kind of echo chamber on the internet where uh, you know, it's, it's really rare to find someone out in the wild that doesn't have a PS plus subscription, you know, uh, with their PS4, uh, that that's, that's not the overall case. That's not the overall look of people overall. So really cool to see that, uh, we get to see the raw numbers, like, like how many PS plus subscribers really are there. So really cool to see those numbers in terms of PS4 as well. And obviously PS4 era is booming really, 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 really successful. It's really cool to see that there. 
And just to be more specific on my last point, you know, I think I said that uh, the 103 million monthly active users was just for anyone using their PS4 in any form or fashion. That's specifically for the PSN. So a a specific PlayStation network, which which I guess would be just you know you using your PS4. Um, I guess that would mean using your PS4 online in any form, shape, or fashion. So it could be like Netflix. You're still on PSN, I guess. No, nonetheless, it's not just using your PS4. It's it's using PSN. So over 100 million people use PSN on a monthly basis. Cool. Also, one last thing I want to mention here before we wrap up here. Uh, Sony announced a electric car. All right, guys. So that has been my Sony CES 2020 recap. Let me know what you guys think about all that we talked about here. How do you guys think about the PS5 logo? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you wish you got the color logo as well as I do? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And make sure also while you are down there to check out our description where you can find our different links to our Twitter, our Discord, as well as our Anchor link. If you listen to our podcast shows as well as all the good stuff down below in the description. And make sure also before you leave to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it as well as stay subscribed to PlayStation Source to keep up with the latest and grace in PlayStation. Also, keep it locked here on the channel, guys. I do have that announcement video in the works. I'm still working on some assets, still working on some things. I promise I will get it to you all soon. Thank you for watching, and as always, greatness awaits.